Hello friends, in this video, we will see some problems related to the probability with respect to the coins. Let us assume uh, three unbiased coins are unbiased coins are tossed. Are tossed. What is the probability of getting at least one hit? At least one hit. Okay, at least one head or at most two head. At most two heads. Okay, at most two heads. So whenever we uh, toss a three unbiased coin, coins, so the sample space is going to be contained. So first one may contain tail or head, head. Okay, and second one may contain head, tail, head. Okay. On three coins, whenever we to, uh, toss a three coins, the first one may contain head, second may contain tail, third may contain head. So otherwise, head or head, tail, or it is going to be head, tail, tail. Okay. So tail, head, tail, or tail, tail, or head. Okay. So otherwise, it is going to be. Uh, three heads okay so otherwise it's going to be three tails okay so this is the sample space okay this is the sample space whenever we are throwing a three unbiased cards the total number of possible outcomes are these so the n of s is equal to h eight so it gets one two three four five six seven eight so n of s is eight so now we have to find at least one head at least one head so which contains at least one head is here we can take one at least one head. This is one, and this is two. This is three. At least one head. So this one contains one head four, and one head five, and this is six, and this is also contains at least one head seven, and this one contains no head. So that means at least one head contains. That is n of e of this event is going to be seven. So the probability of the probability of Whenever we throw the three unbiased, then the probability of getting at least one head is going to be n of e is seven and n of s is eight. So that is going to be probability of. So we assume this one is e one. The probability of e one is equal to n of e one by the n of e one by uh, n of s. So that is going to be seven by eight. So this is going to be the probability of getting at least one head. So we have to show at most two head. So maximum the outcome must contain at, at most two head. So that means the outcome may contain zero heads or one heads or two heads, but it cannot contain three heads because at most it may contain two heads. So this at most it contains two heads. So this is also added two heads it contains, and this also two heads at most. This is also contain two heads. So that means three cases. And this one contains one, so at most two. So this one is also added to the our you know, favorable case. And this one contains one head, so this one will contain right into the favorable. And this one contains one head, right? And this one contains three heads. So this is not we cannot consider this one. Why? Because at most two heads, but this one contains three heads, so we do not consider this one. And this one contains zero heads. Also at most two, two that means it may contain zero heads also. So this one. So except this one, remaining all are favorable cases. So before this event, the cardinality of occurring this second event, that is at most two event, is also seven. So the probability of E2, so the event two, that means at most two heads is going to be contained, is given by n of E2 by n of s. So as you know, n of E2 is equal to seven, and n of s is eight. So the probability of Whenever we are throwing three unbiased coins, the probability of occurring at most two heads, at most two heads, is seven by eight. Seven by eight. So I hope you got this one. Thank you very much for watching this video, and please subscribe to my channel.